On today's video, we're going to look at all the Ultraman Blazar toys I picked up that I hadn't reviewed yet. It's Morphin Time! Special shout out to all our channel members, including our Captain Tears, Infinity Wartorn, Spin Dash 54, Super Shaddix Boom, Toma K, MJ Klein, Infinite 1985, SSJ4 Jason, Oma Ender, Scrub Lord Gaming, Psycho O's, and Kyle. You can join in the join button down below and find out more details for perks, including early access. Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome to the Blazar Toy Roundup. We're going to look at all the Blazar toys that I hadn't reviewed that I bought. So it's going to be fun. We got SH Figure Arts Earth Gear, and we got Frydran, we got Stone Sets 3 and 4. There will be chapter times in the description if you want to jump around, totally valid. And if you haven't checked out my Blazar Brace review or my SH Figure Arts Ultraman Blazar review, go check those out because they'll have base knowledge that won't be covered in this video. And yeah, I mean, other than that, hit like and subscribe and the notification bells this video can reach out more people really appreciate it but let's get to it we got some stones we got some figures let's take a look at some ultraman blazar toys all right so we're going to start with blazar stone set three and four so the strongest set that i picked up that i reviewed prior had sets one and two these are three and four so three contains this stone which activates the rainbow attack the rainbow halo attack thing and then it has x orb and juggler so i don't mind getting this because i like x and i love orb and juggler so you know you got that going on if you didn't think i loved orb and juggler i did the entire orb ring ultra replica series because of them so you know not a bad set for me personally and then over here in set four we've got the garamon stone to summon the tilsonite sword and then you got jeed rasso and blue and i don't mind these three because i like these three as well so it's not too bad uh it would have been nice to have been able to just get like these two in a set but i i don't mind buying a set of four with one i need and then three ultras i like as opposed to say like having to buy an entire fire dragon thing just for one stone but we'll talk about that when we get to it the packaging for these just kind of show what they do on the back so let's take a look at all the stones in set three, and then we'll go through all the stones in set four.
So yeah, the Blazer Stones are pretty cool. Uh, you know, I still like this gimmick uh, as an idea. I mean, I like, of course, the two that were actually used in the show here. These are great too. And I like the Blazar Stones. They just got too hard for me to collect because A, shipping costs on a little pack of stones, and B, there just became so many of them. Like, not all the new generation Ultras were released in deluxe sets, so the, some of them are hard to get because they're only in candy toys. Then they just re-released all of them in, in two packs, so... You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to get any more Blazar Stones beyond this for the Legend Ultras, because as much as I do like having, like, the voices of the Ultra hosts uh, call out the names, I, I do have Orb Rings and uh, the Dimension cards that do the uh, the transformation sounds, so it's almost a little redundant for me to go all in on more Blazar Stones, especially when they're not, like, readily available. So that's just kind of how I felt with that, and that's why I kind of stopped here. But, you know, it's just nice having, at least, you know, with these two... They were used in the show, but you could buy a pack of four. You know, it's not too badly priced just to get the ones that were used in the show. Now, imagine if you had to get an entire add-on attachment piece to a weapon you don't own just to get a stone. Wouldn't that suck? So this is Fire Dran. This is the uh, the Fire Dragon uh, buddy that Ultraman Blazar had that helped him power up in the show really cool. I didn't need to buy this because legitimately speaking, I don't know why the stone for the power up, the Fire Dran Armor stone, was included here because uh, as we just talked about, the stone to summon the Tilsonite sword was in a stone set as opposed to coming with the Tilsonite sword. So now I'm like, oh, I have to buy this in order to get this, which um, kind of sucked. Now there is a Memorial Edition Blazar Brace coming out uh, for P Bandai in case you didn't get the deluxe one. That comes with all four stones in one package, which is honestly pretty nice. Because, yeah, the thing about this is that even when it's folded up, it's still in a pretty large box. So shipping rate-wise, kind of sucks. Uh, it also uh, does attach to the Tilsonite Sword Roleplay weapon, which I don't have because, again, I didn't need it. Uh, so you can do this and attach it for all the attacks. But the important part is it comes with the stone. And I got to say that, like, you know, it was pretty nice collecting Blazar stuff. Oh, the brace comes with the Transformation Stone. You can buy these two sets to get the other two. I was hoping I'd just be able to buy a set to get this, but instead they locked it here, so it's kind of like old school Common Rider, where it's like, you gotta get the final weapon to get the final transformation item. And uh, that sucks, because I would have just liked the stone. Um, but let's take a look at this guy, just for a bit before we look at that stone, because the stone is, like, my focus. But this guy's pretty cool. I mean, it's not, like, something I, like, hate owning, I'm just annoyed that I didn't really have a choice if I wanted the stone. Uh, but really nice paint detail, really nice details here. He is kind of different looking in the show because he's more just like always on fire. So it's kind of neat to see the design here. Uh, the, the neck articulates, the uh, beak opens, which is pretty cool. The wings can fold in and out just because of the transformation. Same with the feet here. He does have a sound feature, which is kind of interesting. So you pull this tab and then you can, uh, you can give him little fire dragon sounds. So that's pretty cool, and then you can just uh, fold his head up, fold his wings together, fold this close, and you can attach that to the bottom of the Tilsonite sword, if that's something you own, which I don't, because I didn't need it, and uh, yeah. So I mean, it, it's a cool piece, it's just, it's slightly annoying that like, the other in-show uh, stones were in nice little sets, but you gotta buy a whole big, and this is, because this is way more expensive than a stone set, uh, before shipping, so it kind of sucks that they like, they're like, nope, we're gonna get you to spend money now to, to finish your set of four stones that exist for this one toy line, but yeah, that's just how it goes. Let's take a look at the, uh, the Frydran Armor Stone, it's nice and shiny, but let's see what it does in the Blazar Brace.
So having the four stones that were actually used in the series by Blazar, I'm pretty happy. I feel like my Blazar brace is complete. You know, even though there are a lot more sounds inside this thing, if you have other stones for different ultras and stuff and different light combos, these are the four I wanted the most because these are the ones actually used in the show. And that's what kind of like completes my collection. Now, this video is running a little short, so let's just jump into something else, uh, which is going to be the SH Figuarts Earth Garen, which is kind of like the other thing to sort of complete a collection. This is like a complete the collection video. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at the SH Figuarts Type 23 Special Tactical Armored Kaiju Earth Garen. This guy came out in December 2023, and he looks pretty cool. Uh, I say that because I've already opened him, clearly. He's not in the box anymore. Let's just take a look at him. I just wanted to show the box so you guys know what he came in. All right, so here is Earth Garen, and I think we should just start by taking a look at him. So, of course, Earth Garen is the, like, support mecha for Ultraman Blazar and uh, Scarred as an organization. And he looks really cool. This is, uh, of course, the fancy, expensive SH Figure Arts version as both the deluxe one. The deluxe one had lights and sounds. This one has more articulation and details. And let's just, you know take a look at him from the top. So, of course, he has got that, like, adorable little dinosaur face. I love the fabric folds they sculpted in here, kind of on this part that would be softer on Earth Garen himself. And what's really cool, too, is you get, like, an opening mouth that, you know, opens really, really wide. So there's, like, a part that moves up like this and a part that moves up like this. And so you can see you got the uh, blaster for the Earth Fire in there, which is really cool. This little piece on the back of his head also moves, and he does have a ball joint up top, and then one up here as well. So you can get a lot of really expressive kind of poses out of him, where they want him just kind of like slight mouth open or full blast ready for Earth Fire, that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. And pretty good range in the neck overall. I mean, coming down here to the chest, you can see we've got, you know, a lot of painted details, a lot of sculpted details. This is like the cockpit area. This piece comes out because there's actually a swappable part for an open cockpit, which we will look at in a little bit. Um, but you can see they've really decked out the details here. Again, kind of the undersuit thing with like the, uh, you know, the space covering. And it is fully ball jointed at the top and the bottom of the waist. So you get all kinds of range. These shoulders also ball joint and they move in and out. And then the shoulder pads are articulated. The arms move out. They also do rotate on that ball joint all the way around. Bicep swivel and a double jointed elbow. Plus, of course, the standard ball jointed figure arts wrists. But yeah, really incredible detail on this guy just all the way down. Now I come down to the legs and you can see we've got the striping, of course. But again, they kept the sculpt, the detail of kind of like the fabric part underneath. And the hips are actually pretty, pretty mobile. So they move all the way in, they come all the way out, they rotate down so that they come out, and then they also can kick forward, which is pretty cool. Plus you can see his, uh, his foot design there. And I think that's just a really great range. You got thigh swivel, double jointed knee, that sort of thing. Then you've got ball jointed ankles. You don't really have a toe tilt, you just have this like pivot forward. And then there's this piston. The piston's on a ball joint. So the way the piston works is it's just lined up. So if you get it unaligned like I just did, it's really easy to do, but it's really easy to get back in. But you got like that piston motion going on, which is really, really cool. I think uh, the, the level of detail they put into figure boards is why I keep coming back to these things. And I think also overall, he just looks... He looks a little bit better than a lot of Ultraman figures because a lot of the Ultraman have like these stark silver bodysuits and there's no way to like hide the joints. This guy can hide joints so much better because he's, you know, a Type 23 tactical armored kaiju. Uh, the tail is really cool because you not only have, you know, your, your suit design underneath and your armor on top, it's of course ball jointed on every single point uh, pretty much. It's from here down is one piece, but everything else is articulate so it can actually like sway back and forth, move up and down, that sort of thing. And then the really cool part that I really love is the fact that each of these panels open up. And this is for the uh, the missile barrage attack where he can launch missiles out of his tail and they uh, all open up. And I do mean all of them, all the way down to the tiniest. And that is really tiny and it's harder for me to even like grip it, but it does open. There we go, look at that. So you can have like the tail missile barrage all the way down if you want to close them all up, they just close up nice and neat, like it never even was there. Pretty awesome stuff. I love that kind of thing. Now, the back panel here is pretty cool. Not only is it sculpted, painted, detailed, really neat, uh, this part comes off. Uh, this part right here pops right off. Uh, I think this part might as well. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, it seems like it would. But anyways, you can see you've got two ports here. 
So if you've seen uh, Ultraman Blazer of the series, you know he gets a couple shoulder cannons, you know he gets a wing pack. There is a part set coming, they've teased it, they just haven't fully announced it yet. But these ports, I imagine, will be for the cannon pack and then the wing pack with the cannons on it later on. But it's nice that it's already uh, pre-equipped and ready to go. Okay, so size-wise, here's Earth Garen with, of course, Ultraman Blazar, his buddy. They seemed scaled appropriately, be, you know, him being a little bit larger than Blazar. And here is Gomora, classic uh, Ultraman Kaiju, typically a helper. And I think that they have similarities in design. And so you can see that he is about, you know, about the size of Gomora. So Gomora has, like, a much longer tail. But that's about scale-wise how he fits with the other SH figures. Now, accessories-wise, he has these open, relaxed hands, which I did want to highlight the detail on the inside where it is painted properly, so that it looks like it's got the hand, you know, armored look. Anyways, he's got these two relaxed hands, which are the defaults on him. His second set of hands are these two fists, which are actually pretty appropriate for some of the weapon options that will come in the later weapons pack, and it's nice to see that he's got normal fists as well. His next set of hands are these splayed open palm hands, which are very dynamic. Then we have my favorite set of hands for him, which are these gripped finger, like, grappling hands. Like, he's ready to just, like, grab a monster. Uh, it's different than the relaxed hands, where they're kind of flat here, but then they're just really spiked up, ready to go, and they look terrific. Now, here in the chest, you can pull this little piece out, uh, nice and easy. And then not as easy to put in, uh, but you can stick in this piece here, which is like an open cockpit piece. So instead of having like a little door or something, they just had it be a swapping part, which I think works. But you can see the little cockpit area now opened up to access, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and it'll help if you have like a hangar diorama going on. So now in the world of really tiny accessories, for the Earth Fire like attack, they give you this little booster piece, which kind of gives it a little bit more depth and detail. It's really tiny, but you can get it in there. The cool part is you can close his mouth. So I uh, actually kind of forgot this was a separate piece because I had it separated or I had it in the figure. And then when I was uh, taking out the box again, I was like, oh, right, that is separate. But, you know, it kind of, it hides in there pretty good. So that's pretty good. And then the other thing is that you can swap his eyes. And it's really hard to do because you need to lift this part up like this. You can see how one eye came with it and one eye didn't. I'm going to carefully put this back together. Okay, so it's incredibly easy to lose the eyes because you pull this up and then sometimes it sticks to the roof. Sometimes it stays in the bottom. But you can see he's got these two beautiful blue eyes, fully active. Here's the other eye sets. I'm not swapping them. I've already dropped them, just, you know, opening this little box and stuff. But here are the alternate eye sets. You got these kind of, like, sort of sleepy eyes. Let's uh, move these over. Little sleepy eyes. You got the dizzy, confused eyes, the evil red eyes, and the determined eyes. If you're going to decide to swap the eyes from this, I'd recommend just picking a set and then sticking with it. Because uh, unlike the uh, Ultraman, these are like harder to swap than the Ultraman's color timers because they have to go in a specific direction and they're very easy to lose when you go to remove that top plate. So yeah, I don't super recommend uh, you know swapping the eyes, but it is definitely an option and I'm glad they gave us this little box to keep them in so that way we don't lose them. So overall, I think SH Figuarts Earth Garen is great and a perfect companion to the Figuarts Ultraman Blazar and I just, I really love them and I want to get his part set whenever that comes out. But overall, I think he's a great figure. So this is everything I bought for Blazar's toy line. Two figure arts, a Friar Dran that I didn't really need, but I don't mind having, and a bunch of stones, but specifically the stones from the series to go with the Blazar brace. I liked Blazar a lot. I thought it was a great show, and I really loved the toys. And I liked the simplicity of the Blazar brace only having four stones used in series. And I really just wish I could have bought this as a stone set. I mean, I like having this guy, but it would have been a lot more uh, price effective. I would have been applauding Bandai a little bit more there. But overall, I mean, I just had a good time collecting these, but I just didn't keep up with videos on them. So this video kind of just rounded out everything I hadn't reviewed. And if you like this type of video, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button so that more people get to see this because, uh, you know, it's Blazar, it's post-series, so I don't know how the video is going to do. So I appreciate all the support. And subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos on Ultraman and other topics. If you'd like to help support the channel directly, consider joining as a channel member for perks like early access. Details in the join button down below. You can also check out our live streams here on this YouTube channel Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern. We talk about Ultraman, Tokusatsu, and all kinds of other things. If you want to continue the conversation, join our Discord server. Come join the chats. Come have fun. We got a lot down there to hang out and do. Also, if you'd like, you can find me on social media at Sandup12 across most platforms. Plus, you can find my awesome graphic designer on social media and Discord at DarkClaw643. And you can find Hero Club at HeroClub.com for Ultraman interviews, news, and more. And until next time, this is Sandup saying goodbye.